Yeah, guys, I'm sorry. Morning, everybody. <coughs> another Monday and another midday start this time. I'm really, really sorry for this. I finished work late again last night and I was up till 3 a.m. again making pizza. You're all probably asleep at 2 a.m. Well, I sort of just finished work and made one very long pizza. It's a bad habit of getting into because now this week is predominantly morning shifts. Considering it's midday and I've only just woken up, still full again from the pizza. So I'm going to just quickly hit up the gym now because I have to work five till nine tonight. So literally just before the gym, I'm just gonna make a bit of a shake with about 10 grams of branch chain amino acids. Um, five grams of creatine on hydrate. Really don't need any food in me at the moment because I really am still full. So I'll catch you guys after you're back from the gym for the start of the proper Meatless Mondays. See you guys soon. And I'm back. Great session at the gym today. Always such a good feeling when you absolutely kill it and just everything goes to plan. It's now about two o'clock and I figured let's do some post-workout nutrition. So I'm actually gonna hit up recipes from my recipe ebook. I think I might have actually done this in one of the first episodes, Meatless Mondays. It's just a killer, killer recipe. It's called the Energized Blueberry Breakfast Bowl and I often have it for lunch or even for dessert just because it's so damn tasty. Let's get started. Nothing better than fresh strawberries. vegan protein hit. Why not add some chili powder for a bit of kick? There you have one gorgeous blueberry breakfast smoothie bowl. Love me that caffeine hit as well. Only about 512 calories. And why this looks awkward, I've got my laptop here as well. Outside, 17 degree day in Tassie, perfect. Recipe guide in my ebook, link in the description. What do we have here? Your case. Now I know the shot from before is different and now I'm inside in the couch wearing a jumper, but a wave of cold hit me and I'm like, all right, sun's gone. I need to get inside because I'm really cold. I just wanted to touch on something that I noticed just then watching YouTube videos. I just found out something incredible. Check this out. My YouTube channel, he's hit 200 subscribers. 200 subscribers. That's 200 of you possibly watching the video today who have subs committed to subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. Now that's incredible. I created this channel about a couple of months ago, three months ago maybe now, for it to have grown that quickly and it amazes me and it really makes me very privileged to have you guys watching my videos, 
subscribing to my channel, commenting, liking, means a whole lot to me. And hopefully it means something to you as well that I'm able to share this experience with you. And I can't wait to bring so much more to you in the future. Definitely got a lot coming up, obviously, with the Sweden trip that's now in 11 days, 12 days, which I know is just gonna be full of awesome, awesome content for you all. I'm just stoked, guys. Thank you so much. If you haven't already subscribed, you hit the subscribe button and it'll be great. Oh, I'm just blown away. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, so it's about 4.30 now and I actually have to go off to work. So what I've decided is because it's only been about an hour since I had my first meal, I'm just gonna quickly grab a Quest bar. Let's see what Quest bars I have now. Uh, which one to have? So many decisions. Tell you what, I'm gonna ask you guys on Snapchat which Quest bar I should eat. Hopefully this gets a quick reply. By the way, if you haven't followed me on Snapchat already, there's my bit code. Hopefully we should be able to scan. If not, just add me at Lewis underscore eats. Let's see which one people reply with. All right, my reply on Snapchat was from Matt Humphrey. Well, a lot of people know him as IIFYM Matt. He said, never tried cinnamon or mixed berries, so eat of those with a review afterwards. What I'm gonna do is try Let's go with cinnamon roll. All right, bit of a review video. Cinnamon roll quest bar. First I'll take a Snapchat in a vlog for Matt. Trying the cinnamon roll quest bar, Matt. You're being filmed. <laughs> Give it a try. Let's take a bite. So that's the questie there. Look, it's all right. Definitely not my favorite. Very subtle cinnamon taste. Could maybe be a little bit more powerful, but it's still really tasty. No cinnamon chunks, not because it's not a chunk based one, but you know, it's all right. Macros on this, 20 grams of protein, seven grams of fat, and I think it's about 20 or 22 grams of carbs. You sort of compare it to a very light cinnamon bread or cinnamon pastry, that sort of taste to it. Seven, seven to a seven and a half out of 10, I reckon. I'll see you guys after work for my post work shift meal. See you guys soon. Hey guys, back from work now. It's about 9.20. What I'm actually gonna do now, I've just preheated the oven about 200 to 220 degrees. Firstly though, I'm gonna actually make the dessert that I'm gonna have. I'm gonna aim for a few less calories, quite a few less calories today than normal. Not only because I'm eating so late and I've had such a short day, but also because tomorrow I'm planning on doing the Subway Challenge. Now, a lot of you might have seen Matt Humphreys, or IFYM Matt. He was the guy that just gave me a suggestion for the Cinnamon Roll Quest Bar review. I'll give him a bit of a shout out. Follow me on Snapchat at Matt slash Humphrey. Anyway, he did the five subway challenge. So we have to is eat five foot long subways, literally as quickly as possible. So that's the plan for tomorrow. So I'm gonna only aim for probably 1900 to 2000 calories today. Let's get on to dessert. Chocolate protein bark. This stuff is awesome. Um, the recipe is from love underscore lifting on Instagram. And you would have seen me do a recipe guide a few weeks or months back now. But anyway, let's get started on that. It doesn't matter. Raspberries. So, I just realized that I filmed all of the previous one without audio. So, I tried to then make a new one with the audio on and did the whole speech, did the whole video and realized that I didn't even press play. It's gonna be a long night. I'm making a cheesy cauliflower and broccoli bake with one of these damn delicious Fry Family schnitzels that I had from one of the previous Meatless Mondays. Let's do it.
Can't forget the Dijon mustard, loaded chilies. Uh, Scales died. Yes. Full disclaimer, I've never ever made cheese sauce before. So don't make fun of me. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll check back in with you guys after. Cheese sauce update. Nailed it. That is like heaven. Was that not honestly one of the most glorious sights you have ever seen in your life? Breadcrumbs. Bit of olive oil. Ah. Chili flakes. Almost forgot. I need the schnitzel. Moment of truth. Wow. Check it out. That is one cheesy cauliflower and potato bake. Check it out. It's probably gonna be so hot. This wins at life. Little drizzle of sriracha. There you have one very tasty cheesy broccoli cauliflower bake with some fried onion and a soy flaxseed schnitzel. 890 calories and mighty, mighty good looking. I'm gonna enjoy this and then get back to you a little bit later on. What a fantastic meal. So healthy, so tasty. Vegetarian, obviously. I'm gonna now take this frozen protein bark out of the freezer. It's about quarter past 11. Check this out. Frozen protein bark. How simple is that? Chocolate frozen protein bark. Now this stuff has 286 calories. And check out that macro split, 18 carbs, seven fat, 40 protein. Now this is all my meals here, which brings my day's total to 167 protein, 226, sorry, carb, and 55 fat. I think that's the end of the video today. Enjoy this protein bark and try and get some sleep. Hope you all enjoyed the video, guys. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thanks heaps for watching, as always, guys, and see you on my next video.